a nation divided. The stakes have never been higher. America stands at a precipice. The chasm between left and right has grown into a gaping abyss, threatening to swallow the very foundations of our republic. On one side stands Joe Biden, the figurehead of a radical leftist agenda, hell-bent on transforming America into a socialist utopia. On the other side stands Donald Trump, a flawed but fearless leader who embodies the hopes and dreams of millions of forgotten Americans. The battle lines are drawn, the stakes have never been higher, and the future of our nation hangs in the balance. The Siren Song of Wokeness, A Path to National Suicide The radical left, under the guise of progress and inclusivity, is waging a cultural revolution that threatens to dismantle the very fabric of American society. Their weapon of choice? Wokeness. This insidious ideology disguised as empathy and social justice is nothing more than a Trojan horse for Marxist principles. It seeks to divide us by race, gender and every other conceivable category, pitting American against American in a never-ending struggle for power and dominance. From our classrooms to our boardrooms, woke ideology is infiltrating every aspect of American life. Our children are being indoctrinated with critical race theory, a poisonous ideology that teaches them to view the world through the lens of race and to see oppression where none exists. Our businesses are being forced to adopt diversity quotas, sacrificing meritocracy on the altar of political correctness. And our institutions are being hollowed out from within, as woke activists prioritize virtue signaling over competence and integrity. This is not progress, it is national suicide. By embracing wokeness, we are abandoning the principles of individual liberty, equality under the law, and meritocracy that have made America the envy of the world. We are trading in our birthright for a bowl of socialist rule, and the consequences will be dire. Open borders, open wounds, the erosion of American identity. One of the most dangerous aspects of the radical left's agenda is their relentless push for open borders. Driven by a misguided sense of compassion, they advocate for policies that would effectively erase our national sovereignty and flood our country with millions of undocumented immigrants. The consequences of such reckless policies are already being felt across the nation. Our schools and hospitals are overwhelmed, our social safety net is stretched to the breaking point, and our communities are grappling with rising crime rates and a growing sense of insecurity. But the true cost of open borders goes far beyond these immediate challenges. It strikes at the very heart of what it means to be an American. By erasing our borders, we are essentially erasing our national identity. We become nothing more than a collection of individuals, united by nothing more than our geographical proximity. The Carnage of Compassion When Good Intentions Pave the Road to Ruin The proponents of open borders often portray themselves as compassionate humanitarians, driven by a desire to help those less fortunate, but their good intentions are paving the road to ruin. By incentivizing illegal immigration, they are encouraging countless men, women and children to embark on perilous journeys, often at the mercy of ruthless human traffickers. They are also creating a humanitarian crisis at our southern border, as overwhelmed border patrol agents struggle to process the influx of migrants. The open borders agenda is not about compassion, it's about power. The radical left sees illegal immigrants as future voters, a demographic they can exploit to advance their socialist agenda. They are more than willing to sacrifice the safety and well-being of American citizens to achieve their political objectives. The Forgotten Man Rises, Trump's Appeal to the Silent Majority In the face of this onslaught against American values, a new champion emerged, Donald J. Trump. A successful businessman and political outsider, Trump tapped into the anger and frustration of millions of Americans who felt ignored and betrayed by the political establishment. His message was simple, but powerful. Make America great again. He promised to restore law and order, to rebuild our economy, and to put America first. The mainstream media, the political establishment, and the Hollywood elite scoffed at Trump and his supporters, dismissing them as racist, sexist, and xenophobic. But the American people saw something different in Trump, a leader who wasn't afraid to speak his mind, who wasn't beholden to special interests, and who genuinely cared about the forgotten men and women of this country. Making America Great Again Again a Legacy Under Attack During his presidency, Trump made significant strides in fulfilling his campaign promises. 
he appointed conservative judges to the Supreme Court, cut taxes for businesses and individuals, and rolled back burdensome regulations that were stifling economic growth. He also took a hard line on illegal immigration, building a wall on our southern border, and cracking down on sanctuary cities. He stood up to China, renegotiating unfair trade deals, and challenging their predatory economic practices. Trump's presidency was a period of unprecedented prosperity and national renewal, but his accomplishments were constantly undermined by the relentless attacks of the left and their allies in the media. The deep state strikes back a swamp determined to drown its nemesis. From the moment he took office, Trump was the target of a coordinated campaign to delegitimize his presidency and drive him from office. The deep state, a shadowy network of bureaucrats and political operatives, worked tirelessly to sabotage his agenda and undermine his administration. They leaked classified information to the media, fabricated scandals out of thin air, and even launched a baseless impeachment inquiry. Their goal was not to govern but to resist, to obstruct, and to ultimately remove Trump from power by any means necessary. Fake news, real consequences, how the media manipulates the masses. The mainstream media played a key role in the left's campaign to destroy Trump. They abandoned all pretense of objectivity, becoming little more than a propaganda arm of the Democratic Party. They bombarded the American people with a constant stream of negative coverage, often based on anonymous sources and unsubstantiated allegations. They amplified the voices of Trump's critics while silencing his supporters. They created a climate of fear and hysteria, convincing millions of Americans that Trump was a threat to democracy itself. The media's relentless assault on Trump had a profound impact on our political discourse. It eroded trust in our institutions, sowed division among the American people, and poisoned our national conversation. The choice before us, a crossroads in American history. America now stands at a crossroads. The path we choose will determine the fate of our nation for generations to come. Will we continue down the road to socialism and decline, embracing the siren song of wokeness and open borders? Or will we return to the principles of limited government, individual liberty and free markets that made America the greatest nation on earth? This is not just a political choice, it is a moral one. It is a choice between freedom and tyranny, between prosperity and poverty, between national strength and national decline. A battle for the soul of a nation. Will America succumb or emerge stronger? The battle between Joe Biden and Donald Trump is not just a battle between two men, it is a battle for the soul of a nation. It is a battle between two fundamentally different visions of America's future. The left's vision is one of division, decline, and dependence. It is a vision of America where the government controls every aspect of our lives, from the words we speak to the thoughts we think. It is a vision of America where the individual is subservient to the collective, where mediocrity is celebrated, and where excellence is punished. Trump's vision is one of unity, prosperity, and strength. It is a vision of America where the government gets out of the way and lets the American people achieve their full potential. It is a vision of America where the individual is sovereign, where hard work is rewarded, and where anything is possible. Time is running out, the urgent need for a course correction. The stakes have never been higher, the future of our nation hangs in the balance. We must choose wisely, for the decisions we make today will determine the fate of our children and grandchildren. The time for complacency is over, the time for action is now. We must stand up and fight for the soul of America. We must reject the radical left's agenda of division and decline. And we must embrace the principles of freedom, opportunity, and limited government that have made America the envy of the world. The choice is clear. The time is now. The future of America is in our hands.